Jim Grubb. Sorry. Jim is also Dan's best man. Next we have Susie's grandmother and grandparents, Novella Weber and Francis and Gus Craig.
Well, what if you scream him if we block her? I would probably scream him if you block her. What else is he coming from? Now, the scream is going to be able to extend your left arm, sir, let the bride come right up on your left arm. Just like, oh, 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 put your arm around him. There you go. Oh, you're going to be able to do it. We'd like to direct everybody's attention to the uh, far side of the room here where the bride and groom are cutting the cake and all kinds of good stuff like that. Champagne back here at the bar. If you don't prefer that, they have lots of other good things. So uh, we're going to be having a toast to the bride and groom in just a minute. So we'd like everybody to go ahead and get you something to drink, and we'll be ready to do that. So while we're waiting on everybody to get a drink, play one of my favorites.
like to thank everyone for coming this evening. I'd like to to toast uh, Danny and Susie on this joyous occasion. May the life be full of happiness, joy, and may God watch over them through the rest of their life. Thank you. Here, here. Here, here. Before I give our toast, I would like to thank uh, very much all of our friends uh, from Maryland, Virginia, Washington, D.C., Pennsylvania, Albuquerque, New Mexico, Chicago, Ohio, Dallas, Oklahoma, Arkansas. <laughs> we have a, uh, what, what else? Florida? Florida? Anyway, to thank all of you very much for coming and uh, joining us, and I would like to uh, pose a toast, and I would like to say that to Ben and Susie, welcome to our family, and I am absolutely delighted to join me in wishing them all the best in health, wealth, happiness, and the time to enjoy it. <laughs> and fertility. <laughs> Tonight, dear, I, uh, I kind of feel sorry for Danny. <laughs> <laughs> Is this family? <laughs> Are there any more toasts at this time? That's it. Okay, well then, what we're going to do now is have the first dance. You are a bloody coward. <laughs> what they've requested is a beautiful song by Mr. Rod Stewart. We're going to do that for you.
basically everybody knows that uh, they've had their own places for, for some time now. And given that they're married now, we thought it would only be proper that uh, all the young ladies that uh, have keys to Dan's apartment, go ahead and bring them back to him now. <laughs> is what's called dollar dance. And what this means is that uh, you get chances taken, uh, get to dance with the bride and groom, uh, and you have to pay the band a dollar. No, it's cheesy. <laughs> Do dollar or five dollars. <laughs> anyway, uh, Teresa will here be taking up the money, I believe, and basically you're just going to come up, pay your dollar, and dance with the bride and groom. Uh, you get your choice here. <laughs> It can be more. Oh, oh. I have fifty dollars here.
one thing I want everybody to dance on this next one, a song by the Platters. We've been 